the site visit was broken up into two pieces. So you had one group that came in, and what they did was they um, reviewed the structure of the building, if you will, to make sure that it was a good building, that kids were in some mice-infested, roach-infested environment, that the roofs were about, about to fall in. Um, so that was the first part. And that part was done maybe about a week ago. Um, and so on Monday, um, it was the committee that came. There were two gentlemen that were here from the SRO office. And what their main focus was basically, and I'm going to be quite candid with you, they wanted to hear nothing. They had six questions um, that they were going through. They met with staff, um, the administration. They also met with some students at the time. They also met with um, community um, involvement and parents. So the community and the parents were in the same meeting. But their focus was still very much academic, period. They weren't trying to, the questions that they had had everything to do about um, test scores and strategies and a whole lot of lingo that if you didn't understand some school stuff, you were going to miss. I will be candid with you, we got through one question out of all six. Um, out of the four, what is it, about 40 minute time period that they gave us. Um, it was frustrating in a sense because I don't know if the conversation led so much and they were able to glean the answers to the rest of the questions from our dialogue or if it was just a process, right? So, and I'm just, I'm just being candid um, mm -hmm. at this point. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I felt like it went very well. Um, they got a lot of information. I, I think that we were able to share, even as parents, um, the parents that were in the room, there were um, two parents that were present at, at that particular meeting. I mean, they, we all expressed the same thing. And their thing to us was, well, it's not like we haven't heard this before. We keep hearing this. And so my conversation was, well, then you find the root of the problem. If you've heard this from every community that you've gone into, then you, you can figure out what the problem is. Um, and then let's talk about that. And so one of the things that I, I candidly advocated for was not to shut us down based on um, the fact that we're quote unquote not proficient, even though our students are showing growth. When you look at the data, our students are showing growth. They're not falling behind. Um, they are coming up. But they're looking at just the fact that they, we've been in that lower five percentile for the last three years. Well, now they say 2012 is what they're going back to. And in that time period, again, and we keep saying it, you've had four different tests, you've had four different curriculum. Right? And so my advocate, the thing that I'm advocating most for is allow us to fail as a community on our own. Give us the opportunity to educate our kids, to come up with a strategic plan that we're saying we can do this in five years. We're willing to show you the benchmarks. Give us that opportunity and then let us implement that. If we fail then from that point and our community can't stabilize the school system, then you pull it. 